I'm going to mention some line items that were in the negative. The overall budget was at 73% committed. It needed to be at 75. So she's still good with the, the detention center. She has a couple of line items that are in the negative, which means they're overspent. That's in, this is in the detention center? Correct. Yep, just the detention center. The total overspend is 38298 That's right mm. there. So looking up at the uh, object codes and the columns, account budgeted year to date, percent spent. The percent spent is far below the 75%. So I just added what the balance there was. It's 36387 Essentially it um, uh, counteracts or um, crosses, uh, cancels out the overspent sum. So essentially it's at zero. The total expenses for a month for the detention center, again just dividing by 12, the total budget expenses, is about $67,000. DOC is usually two months out of being paid. So if you multiply 67,000 times two, you come up with 134,506. What I did to come up with a base that they need uh, in order to ensure operations is three months. So they have a month cushion, and that would be $157,820 there at the bottom. Would you say one more time so I'm really mm -hmm. clear? Absolutely. How you did this? What I did is I took the total expenditures for the detention center from Brenda's budget. And again, I took the one revised after the amendment, amendments we did two months ago. I divided that number by 12 to find out how much per month the detention center needs to operate. Personnel um, costs everything. DOC is usually two months, it's up to two months behind. It's usually six weeks behind. Two months gives us a little bit of a cushion. That is 134506 that they need on hand to pay bills for those two months. What I did to come up with a base of how much cash they need on hand to pay bills is I took three months so they have a cushion. And that's the 157820 So then what I did is I took the total cash in the detention center today and I subtracted 157820 to come up with a surplus in the detention center. And that amount is Is it the 359.579? Thank you. Yes. 359.579. Um, let me just do one thing. I didn't bring my calculator. Oh, there it is right there. I did bring it. All right, I just want to check that I did this right. 359 minus 157. Okay, one correction. This 157,820, that stays here. However, if you go to page two of the first, Where, where's 157? At the bottom of page on this two. Here. So, These pages aren't numbered. Yeah, they are on the top. So, if you go to the second page, this one right here, that 157,820 actually should be 201 759 because it's the difference from the total cash today minus what's needed to get them through three months of operations and then that number gets added to the 202 321 just above it right here and we can give by adding those two numbers we can actually put Brenda's reserves at 404080, which is actually more than 33% at this point. So Where do you see that 404 here? I added this number to that number oh, okay. and came up with 404080. I 
still don't have that. Uh, what's the you're talking about? See the 202? 321. Yeah, there you go. Lift your pin up three inches. There you go. 202, 321. Okay. Okay. Now move your pen down. The 297. No, move it down. Down. There you go. That number, that 157, 820, is three months of operating expenses. I did not do the math correctly. What I should have done is subtra subtracted that number from the total cash that the detention center has right now of 359, 579, which is on page two. So what I did is I used 359, 579 minus 157,820, and the difference is 201,759. So on the other page that you were looking at, you need to change 157,820 to 201,759. 759. Mm -hmm. And then you add that number to 202,321, just above it, and you come up with $404,080. Now this formula requires that Brenda continue to market the detention center. That is her responsibility per law, and like the newspaper article that I produced just a couple weeks ago from Bozeman, this is what counties do. The revenue generated in the detention center helps pay for operations and public safety. And it should. And it should. If she wants more money from the taxpayers, she needs to go to the taxpayers and ask them. By law, they have the right and the responsibility to say yes or no. It looks to me like she's got enough, though, taking that from the detention center. I believe she does as well. Yep. Is she going to have to hold tight? Yeah. But uh, that's what she said that she had in her budget. She it was in there. But, uh, and I don't know. These here, I, uh, I couldn't keep up with the other this year stuff. I don't know. If you, just when you go home tonight, just take it and read it through, and you'll see that it comes out just exactly what we've said here. It's pretty plain. What she has asked for uh, from us every single year is additional money. This is not a new request. It's just this year it really got to be scary for her staff. So what I would like to do is pursue with Corey how we do this with her fighting us. I don't know. Um, I don't know if we need her to support this. Um, so, why would she not support it? Why would she not be here? Why would she not have contacted us months ago? Yeah. Why did she present the budget she did last year? I, there's there's a lot of whys. A lot of questions I have. But not many answers, is there? No, because she didn't show up. Um, Good job. Thank you. I would be, I would support, I would propose that um, if she doesn't need the full 404, she doesn't, that we would actually leave anything above the 33% reserves in detention. Um, mm -hmm. Just because I think, since this is not her proposal, I'd like to do just what we have to do. I agree. Um, so I guess maybe a verbal is, would be nice um, for talking to Corey. Do I have the support of this commission? Um, got my support. Thank you. We've oh. got to do something where it's going down the drain. Pure and simple. Oh, I think it's fine yes. talking to Corey. But, um, but uh, 
she should be involved in it all the way through to. Franklin, we've tried to get her involved. You know that as well as I do. Why isn't she here today? We asked her clear last year to come and meet with us periodically so we could keep track of this. So we knew what she was going to need. And that didn't happen. Well, that's what you said in her letter where she attempted and, and Commissioner Slipgar, are you trying to defend her action? Well, so yes. Why? It's all down here in black and white for anybody to look at and review and understand. Absolutely. <clears throat> well, that last paragraph, you properly funding the public safety fund as requested in my letter <coughs> prior to your board setting the F fiscal year 2015 budget. I don't have that letter here, but. What are you saying, Franklin? There's a question that I think deserves an answer, and I'd like to know what you're thinking about what you just read. Well, you were saying that she's never come before. Well, she has, and, and from, from her letter here and her other letters, she's before. That's why she brought suit there before, because she couldn't get a, a budget. That's not true. I have another sheet here that I would rather not bring forward, but I will if I have to. She filed suit and hired an attorney in April of 2014. That was long before we even started budget season. Months that, before. Yes. That was when we were trying to get an illegal practice of paying reserve deputies stopped and hired an audit firm to look into that for us. That's when the attorney was hired. It was had nothing to do with the budget. That was a ploy to get her well, I think attorney she, fees paid. I think she had problems from the budget from before. She's always had problems with the budget, frankly. It has nothing to do with the commission. Answer to me this, Franklin. If this was anybody else's budget, what would your reaction be? Probably the same. I mean... Or probably not. Why, uh, actually, because I remember beforehand here, I'd come to some of those meetings, and I mean, she was beat down on different things on the budget, just like I said in that, that cash reserve that time and stuff. With all due respect, you were remembering her side of everything she said and not taking into account anything that was said by anyone else. As a citizen, I would like to know what her proposal was for today. This says nothing other than, woe is me. Where is her proposal for straightening out the mess the budget's in? The cash reserve for, for one thing. You know. Where is her proposal? Answer my question. I think it's in her letter there. There is no proposal. There is no proposal there, Franklin. That last paragraph, that's her proposal. That does not answer what she was asked to come forth with an answer for how to make her budget work for the rest of the year. That is not answering the question that was asked of her.
I have another question for you. If you don't like the proposal that was put forward by Laura and agreed to by Elaine, what is your proposal to sorting out things? Well, I guess one thing is you've got to run this through Corey. And, um, so what are we going to run past Corey? Laura's proposal? proposal that, uh, okay, that's what you so, so you're agreeing to run that past? Is that what you're saying? Run, go ahead and run it through, through Corey. You're agreeing yeah. to that? Yeah. Okay, all right. Was that so difficult? You know, the trouble is, guys, this isn't the first year this has happened. Uh, I've been here, what, six, seven, eight years? Every year. And I don't know if it's every year, but it certainly is. More than just this year. Yeah. I'd say take it to Corey. All right, I will. I know we can't probably make a motion, but... No, what my worry is, is we've got to do something. Quick. If quick. Do we need her to agree to this? I don't know. But her staff is, she doesn't have staff starting July 1st if we don't do something. Um, so that's why I'm going to Corey is to see if we can push this through without her support on behalf of her staff. So I will request to meet with him today. Uh, court was canceled, I understand. So hopefully that will be, um, hopefully that will work. Um, on another subject, I have a couple of things that came up. This email was sent. I sent you an email, Franklin and CC to Elaine. This was uh, regarding the um, mental health, the Medicaid match of 5612. We talked about it in a meeting. Um, the paperwork needed to actually be attached to a claim to be paid, and it seems to have disappeared. My question to you in my email was, did you perhaps take it home? No, I, I double checked. I I don't have it. When did you give it to Tammy? Can you remember any details to help us find this? You've taken so many things home. It's just such an easy assumption that you took this home on accident, too. Well, that's what I checked, and I, and I haven't. So I, I don't know. I assume whatever meeting it was, that it, that's when it went back to her, but I, I don't know. You're the one who's been bringing the bills without claims to the meeting? With instruction, take that to the that, claims that's court? That's what I do. After we bring them to the meeting, and then I take them to her afterwards. I would request that you maybe do something to make sure those get there, because this didn't. Um, I, can we call Susan and get a, a duplicate? Yeah, I will have to do something like that. It's It just doesn't do a lot for the county's credibility to say we lost your bill. No. I'd really hate to do that. I do have Debbie looking into it to see if she can figure out something. Um, so I'll let you guys know, and, and I'll call Susan and take care of it so it gets done and doesn't get lost again. This is the other thing I wanted to bring up is um, this is the PILT that we agreed to pay for Brenda's IT services. What we did a couple months ago, and Tammy and Debbie both picked this up for us, a couple months ago when this, well, almost a year ago, this was a long time ago, when this was first started, we uh, made a motion to take from PILT and put it into Brenda's budget an IT line item. So this fee needs to come from that. It's still coming from PILT, but it was put into our budget, but it was the solid amount so that we wouldn't keep getting these trickled um, bills. So with your permission, I think what I would like to do is move to rescind the uh, payment for the Sheriff's Office from further PILT expenditures for the DIS Technologies and uh, return this claim so that she returns and it it's that line in item. in in her budget. Already, yeah. And that was put in for the IT. I think we sent her a note about it. I do too, yeah. 
and I can get the, the fun numbers from, from Debbie, who has that all, all with her. But I do think we should have a, a vote uh, to rescind our motion. Can we do that here today or not? We can. Yeah, well, nice I, move. Well, I already moved, but if you no, second. I, second. All right. Well, I'm not sure what you want is. If that was uh, put in her, in her budget, does she not know about it? Evidently not. Which kind of goes hand in hand with the letter and the fact that she's not here today. But wouldn't she see it if she's looking at a budget? She should. And that will be in the note will be um, the line item, the object code that this is on and explaining to her what she needs to do to resubmit this claim. I call for the question. Okay. Call it just uh, resend this claim of the Pilgrim of ESI from the Sheriff's Office. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? I guess I'll oppose at this point until we find out for sure what is involved. I mean, I, I don't know why she wouldn't know um, that was a, a line item for I don't know. That's all the housekeeping stuff I had. Okay. I'll send you guys a full email and keep you CC'd. I have to say thank you for being here all the time. You're welcome. Personnel, financial, you name it. And it all falls on you. I'm glad you're here for six more years. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're not, but you know, seriously. I can't be here, and I know that. My Here's, health is deteriorating, and I can't bring any more time. I appreciate what you do very much, and what you have done in giving what you have and putting your health second is more than I can think that anybody else would do. You are a hero in my mind, and the mind of a lot of people. Well, no, I'm not a hero, but the fact is I can't, and I know it. You're doing what you can. And I'm doing what I can. It very much. Am I going to take the extra wages? No, I'm not. Uh, because I can't do it. Pure and simple. And I respect it's, you a great deal. It's 12.04. We'll adjourn. So tomorrow night's going to be good? Yes. Yeah, Pam, you can make up this soon. Uh...